Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for the week of September 30th. This week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. So, Capricorn, let's see what's going on for you for the week of the 30th and uh, Capricorn. Here we go. Uh, let's see here. And it looks good so far. Uh, Virgo had a really good reading, and you have a really good reading as well. Probably the two best readings I've done this week. Uh, it's been a pretty boring week, i got to be honest with you. And uh, so this looks pretty good, Capricorn. Uh, you start off with the Nine of Hearts in your overall energy. Nine of Hearts is getting a wish, getting something you want. But it's also a card of feeling fulfilled or feeling fulfillment in general. So I feel like a lot of you could be feeling very fulfilled this week. This could also be about like a long distance relationship as well. And so some of you could be dealing with a relationship at a distance, but this would be a positive card for doing that. In your area of opportunity, you have the Seven of Spades. A pretty I think three different signs have had this card in their area of opportunity for the week. Seven of Spades is a card of opportunity to speak and opportunity to say something to people in your life. So I feel like a lot of you could be speaking up this week about your desires, things that you want, things that you deserve. You know, it could be anything with this card. It's also an amazing card for love because when it comes up in the opportunity section, I should say, normally it's kind of like a challenging card, but in this position, it's a little bit more positive. And it could just say that there are opportunities to like date online or to date through technology. Uh, next in the area of love, you have the Ace of Swords. So existing problems being resolved. If you have problems in your current relationship, th these could be any relationships as well. It doesn't have to be just a love. It could be family, it could be friends, it could be anything. This could say that there are going to be improvements in your relationships in general, but also love. If you've been looking for love, this could say that just situations around love in general are going to be improving. Like maybe you just have a hard time or have had a hard time with finding people. And this could just represent a positive change. Uh, next in your challenge position, for love, you have the two of diamonds. So finances could be a challenge as far as dating is concerned or love is concerned. I think a couple other people have had money uh, coming up as a challenge in their dating situations as well. But two of diamonds says you could be having a challenge as far as dating is concerned uh, with money or finding money. This could also just say that maybe some of you are more focused on work in the first place. But again, I would say if you're focused on work, you're probably focused on work. You're probably not necessarily looking for love. So is that really a challenge? Is it really a big deal? Uh, probably not. And finally, for your solution for love, you have the Three of Hearts, so love it. Uh, Three of Hearts is a really good card. I just call Three of Hearts an indicator card. To me, it just indicates that things are moving forward in the right direction. It just says things are moving forward in the right direction. So I feel like things are just improving for you in love. Uh, next, in the area of work and finance, you have the Eight of Hearts. Love it again. So Eight of Hearts is a gift from the universe. So I feel like a lot of you could be, like especially if you've been going through a lot of difficulties or challenges, I feel like you're about to get almost like a gift from the universe. This is almost like a break from challenges or any challenges you've been dealing with. For others, this card could say that you are making your dreams a reality. This card is called the moon, kind of like the moon in the tarot. But the difference is like the moon in the tarot is about fantasies or dreams that will never become a reality. The moon in the playing card says you need to make your dreams and your fantasies as far as your finances are concerned a reality. And the eight of, cup, eight of hearts just says we have to take the first steps to make something happen. Uh, your challenge for work and finance is the six of diamonds. This card of imposter syndrome. Jerome, all three of you earth signs have been getting this card a lot this year. Six of Diamonds says you need to open up. You need to be more bold, more assertive, and you need to realize that you are good enough to have something. You need to realize that you are good enough to get something. This can also be the card where, like in work, maybe you have an idea, and maybe you don't tell anybody about it, like your boss, and then somebody else comes up with the idea, and they get all the credit. So this card says get rid of the imposter syndrome. Make sure to speak up for things you want. And finally, your outcome or your solution is the Three of Diamonds. Kind of weird because, um, again, Three of Diamonds would normally be a challenging card, but in the solution position, this is a lot more positive. It could say that you are, number one, building towards more financial stability. And 
it's coming up as a three. So it just says, maybe you are not there yet. Maybe you're not at that four of diamonds yet where you want to be very financially stable, but it could just say you're kind of like building towards that. For others, I feel um, what's popping into my head is just positive news financially. So and that card wanted to fly away, but uh, I feel like some of you could just be getting like positive news or positive feedback or something like that is popping into my head. For some of you, I'm also getting like a new job as well. So I feel like some of you could just be getting a new job where you're making more money or something like that with that card. Uh, next in your area of health, you have the Ace of Cups or the, I mean, the uh, Ace of Hearts here. Yeah, sorry, I was just reading tarot. I, I don't know why I do this to myself, but I go from tarot to playing cards. Sometimes I go from playing cards to tarot and it, you know, I read them both very differently. So uh, that's why I have to be specific about what they are. But Ace of Hearts, Ace of Hearts is a card of your emotions overflowing, being really happy, very very good card for health. So I feel like a lot of you could be feeling rather healthy this week overall. Uh, your challenge for health is the Nine of Diamonds, maybe letting go of some sort of bad habit. Nine of Diamonds is called the coffin. And when it comes up in the challenge position, it, like and especially for health, it can just say that you are not opening up to some sort of change or it says there needs to be some sort of change in your like diet or maybe you need to exercise or, you know, who knows? It, it's going to be different for all of you, but it says that there could be some sort of change. Again, does this have to be a big deal? No, probably not. It's probably nothing really, but you know, maybe you need to like quit smoking or quit drinking or, who, you know, who knows what, but you know, it's like saying if you have any bad habits, maybe it's time to let those things go. Uh, and your solution is the Ace of Diamonds, a new beginning. You are going to let things go. So, so I feel like, again, probably didn't even need to talk about that, right? Ace of Diamonds just says, you are going to be stepping off on a new path and starting a new journey as far as your health is concerned, and you will probably become healthier, plain and simple. I'm also, surgery is popping into my head as well for some reason um, because of the Ace of Spades. That's why you have three Aces here. Really good, uh, Capricorn. This is really positive. Three Aces, total new beginnings coming in for you. But I feel like some of you could have gone through surgery or you will be having surgery, and I feel like that will kind of um, you know help you heal up a lot faster. I feel like that will be really good for you is what I'd say to you, Capricorn. And finally, your outcome for this week is the six of clubs. Yeah, uh, very positive. I wanted to clarify it. Six of clubs is a card that kind of puts me on the fence. Um, sometimes I don't know how I feel about it because it can kind of go both ways. But with the Ten of Diamonds, definitely very positive. Six of Clubs is a card of success and abundance and getting things you want. Ten of Diamonds, card of more money, card of success, card of growth, card of abundance, and a card of just being very successful. So uh, Capricorn, this looks like an amazing week for you. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.